He's owned a successful pet business, and now the conditions of his dogs and cats are being described as disgusting. Bud Wheatley is going to jail for his treatment of animals. Sally Pitt was in court for our top story tonight. <laughs> Officials found the dogs and cats in Bud Wheatley's care were living in filthy, crowded, appalling conditions. Almost every furry animal was uh, severely matted. Uh, there was filth. Uh, many of the animals had uh, infections, uh, ear infections, ear mites. Some of the animals had lice. Uh, a lot of the animals showed lack of grooming. Their nails were too long. The uh, kennels themselves were uh, just coated in feces and urine. Wheatley was selling them through an internet site called Puppies Across Canada. They were being kept in a storage shed on his property in Cove Head. Provincial agriculture officials and two veterinarians went in and seized 76 dogs and cats. Most were adults. The uh, kennels were stacked three high. Many were too small for the number of animals that were in those kennels. Access to the kennels was very difficult. The lighting was very bad. The ventilation was observed to be uh, and practically non-existent. Their food and water dishes were dirty. The animals got no exercise. Some were emaciated. Two had to be euthanized. One died before it could be treated. Bud Wheatley pleaded guilty to the charges of causing pain, suffering, and distress to animals in his care. He told the court he had a hard time keeping staff and couldn't sell enough animals. He knows that he was ultimately responsible for the situation that led to the problems with the animals in his care, and he is remorseful that the situation got to the point that it did. The Humane Society ended up cleaning, treating, and caring for the seized animals. Most were adopted into new homes. So we know now that what happened to those animals was a crime, and it was punished and it, the full force of the justice system was shown today. Judge Nancy Orr called this case incredible and said she found it surprising that government officials allowed Wheatley to operate for 15 months without a license, even though inspectors did visit his operation. The court heard the department is reviewing training for its staff and the way they do their inspections. The judge sentenced Bud Wheatley to five months in jail and fined him $200. On top of that, he has to pay back the provincial government the cost of caring for the animals, $68,000, and he's not allowed to own a companion animal for 10 years, with the exception of a 13-year-old dog that's his own pet. Sally Pitt, CBC News, Charlottetown.